Today I would like to show you how to roll a paper cone and what we use is just a simple scaling paper, slightly waxed, it's nice and flexible. So to roll a paper cone the shape we need is a triangle. So we do a diagonal cut and we have two pieces to roll the paper cones. Now it's important that the long side of the paper cone if you're right-handed faces to your left. You put the thumb in the center of the long side and the longer triangle points towards your body. You take your right hand and you fold the top corner inwards lining it up with the middle corner. Take your left hand, hold the tip of the paper cone just enough so it doesn't open up. Now you take your right hand and like unscrewing a light bulb, all you do is turn the paper in your fingertips until it's all used up. Whatever is left, we take it, we fold it in and we seal it. And this is enough to hold your paper cone. Now it's important that the paper cone is completely closed. If it, ha if it hasn't closed, what you do is you take your middle finger, stick it inside the paper cone, your thumb on the top. By pushing your thumb down, it opens up. By push, pulling your thumb up, it completely closes. Hold the paper cone, fold it in again, seal it and it's done. When we fill the paper cone with chocolate, again, it has to be completely closed. Hold the paper cone in your hand so the weight of the chocolate doesn't open it up. Uh, because the chocolate has usually particles in it, maybe from working before, so we take a sift to make sure that there's no particles, it doesn't interfere with the piping. We take the sift and we fill up the paper cone approximately halfway with the chocolate. Then it's important that it is sealed properly. So what we do, we take the seal part, we lay it flat on the table and we fold it once behind the opening. Okay, now while it's on the table, we just keep folding the paper cone until we reach the chocolate and it's completely closed. Now to cut the paper cone we can either use a paring knife or scissors. What's important is that the paper cone is cut on a 90 degree angle. If you cut it on an angle like this, the chocolate will cling on to the paper and will start to twist when you start piping. Okay? So I just put it on the table and cut it. It's important that it is cut very thin because it will always open up again. Writing with the paper cone, we're going to do a few straight lines and a few waves just to get used to the flow of the chocolate. And you can see I'm holding the paper approximately one centimeter above the base. I'm going to do some waves now. It's important that you always pull the paper cone. To pull it away from the chocolate. If you miss some, I just go over it and do it again. Chocolate ornaments. Again, still approximately one centimeter away from the paper. You have a lot more control of what you're doing. Or a different uh, version.
Okay, now it takes approximately five minutes in the refrigerator to set this chocolate. And after that, I will show you how to peel them off and use them for decorations. Okay, our chocolate has set now and any chocolate that's uh, refrigerated shrinks, that's why it pulls up the, the paper. So now what I'm uh, using is a paring knife, just to show you how to take off those uh, ornaments. Slide underneath and you can see the chocolate is strong enough that you can pick them up and arrange them on cakes, pastry pieces, anything that doesn't turn out the way you want it, we just put it back into the chocolate and they are melted down again. Okay? So you can arrange them on the cake to do designs or just slip, uh, simply stick them into a rosette of whipping cream to uh, give a three-dimensional effect. The uh, chocolate is uh, quite strong. You can see I can even slice underneath here and show you that it, it holds up uh, very easy. Okay. Same thing with slightly larger ornaments. They are quite strong. Of course, you, have, you can only hold them for a certain amount of time because the body temperature will start to melt the chocolate otherwise.